This is a 2008 E350 Ford. Well, actually, it's more than just a Ford. It's actually a motorhome. The chassis built in America, the RV part built in Canada. Featuring a 255 horsepower, 3.5 liter engine. And the RV part, well, that's built completely in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And when we look at this RV, it's not overstated, kind of anonymous, somewhat like my next guest. Look at these stripes on this RV, not overstated. Hi, I'm Line Screw One, and this is Nomads and Vans Dumping Poo. Now you will know my next guest. It's uh, Line Screw One, it's actually me. Who else to parody and make fun of on this first inaugural episode of Nomads and Vans Dumping Poo than myself? And with the magic of digital media, well, I can actually talk to myself. That's a bit narcissistic, isn't it? Yeah, I think so too, but that's part of the irony. So without further ado, let's just get on with this stinky business. What are you doing in my car, man? Huh? This is not comedians in cars getting coffee. Okay. Go do that van poop show with that other line screw guy. Just get out of my car, okay? I got stuff to do. Now, a few viewers on YouTube have wondered if you and Caroline, you know, the Caroline in Alaska, not the other one, have conspired together to create drama on both your channels. What do you have to say about that? You know, it's, it's been said, uh, and I hate to say it, but it's actually true. You know, Carolyn, she texts me from Alaska all the time, and I said, yeah, okay, I'll do it. What the hell? You need some money, you need some views, things aren't going very well. But we didn't run it through Bob first, so uh, Cheap RV Living, he's going to be uh, pretty angry, I think, at both of us, especially me, because, uh, you know, you, you don't talk trash about his lady, I'm sorry, we shouldn't have done it that way. We should have uh, said that she was pregnant or something. That, that would have worked better, I think. You, my friend, are so full of crap. It's unbelievable. And because this is about nomad poo, I got a poo BS detector here. This is a uh, certified RV friendly toilet paper roll. And I say, Bull crap, bull crap, bull crap. Hashtag black tank lies. Black tank lies. Black tank lies. Hey, since this actually is about nomads dumping poo. Let's get out of here and get some tips from Line Poo or Line Screw or whatever the hell he wants to call himself. And uh, let's dump some turds from the black tank. Let's get her done. So I think you mentioned you have some tips for nomads dumping their poo. Can you fill us in a bit about that? Yes, in fact, I do have some tips. Now, most RVs have a black tank and a gray tank, like this is the black tank on this side, the gray is on the other. Now, most people dump the black tank first, and that's normally what you'd want to do most of the time. But if you're in a lot of RV parks all the time, and you've got a jerk of a neighbor that keeps you awake all the time, if you're about to go on a long trip and be away for a couple days, I suggest you mix it up. And what you do is you dump the, the gray first, and then you dump the black. And so that leaves the turds in the uh, hose here for a couple days while you're away. So you do this before you go away on a trip for a couple days. And the extra stench on a hot summer day will uh, hopefully uh, help your neighbor understand that he's a jerk. Well, I'd like to thank my guest today, Line Turd, or Line Screw, or whatever he wants to call himself, for joining me today in this episode of Nomads and Vans Dumping Poo. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe and remember, Black Tank Lies Matter.